Hello everybody, a random gnome here, and today we are playing Banjo Kazooie, and this will be part three. And something terrible has happened. Um, I was recording, you know, my audio and my video, and for some reason, when I looked back, the video hadn't recorded, but the audio did. So the rest of uh, Rusty Bucket Bay, or no, 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 that's uh, that's the uh, other one down the line that has to do with water. This one's, that was Treasure Trove Cove, and yeah, I goofed up, honestly. So, yeah, we're gonna move on to Clanker's Cavern now. Yeah, and I 100%ed that, and I recorded it all, and, you know, I can't, you know, it wouldn't let me not save. So I'm sorry about that, you know, genuinely sorry, or genuine, whatever, I like to say genuine, people say genuine. I don't care. Isn't there a button you can do to just do all of them at once? Oh yeah. The right trigger. Alright, we did it. Once again, very sorry about that. And just to let you know, this one and, you know, Rusty, Rusty Bucket Bay, and, you know, I just don't like playing these levels, so... Uh, we can get through this. I'll try to do at least half this part, and then the next half the other part. Or part two, part five, actually. This should be part four. Yeah, and I already brought up all these pipes. Alright, let's do this. No, I can't do it that way. What a bummer. But yeah, uh, in the last episode I was actually talking about, you know, the new consoles and whatnot. So I might as well reiterate what I said to nobody. No, I was talking about the new games and then it went to that. So what I was saying is like, uh, you know, what games are you guys looking forward to? I'm looking forward to, uh, um, you know, The Last of Us is coming out like really soon. I might be picking that one up. And, you know, uh, Watch Dogs and Grand Theft Auto. Those look pretty good, and uh, what I'm really excited about is Dark Souls 2. I beat Dark Souls a couple times, and I just beat Demon Souls for the first time, uh, kind of recently. Uh, yeah, it's really fun. If you have not played the Souls games, I would recommend you check them out. And about the new consoles, I don't remember what I was saying. I was saying, like, uh... You know, the Xbox looks pretty pretty nice, they just had their keynote when I recorded this, you know, like three days ago from when I recorded this. This might come out uh, a couple days later because I, uh, I'm about to upload Reseteer and go to sleep. So it might be, you know, a couple days later. But yeah, what I was saying was, uh, their keynote was pretty nice, you know, for showing, you know, uh, what the console can do. I know a lot of people was, were angry because, uh... They didn't really show that many games, and, you know, it wasn't a game reveal, it was a console reveal, but yeah, I can agree. I wanted to see more games, like, I wasn't that impressed with the TV thing, but it would be cool. The thing with that, like, uh, you can change the input on your TV by saying it, and I was wondering, you know, you could have your PS4 on another input, and be like, Hey, turn on my PS4! I wonder what the console would do. Yeah, people said they were scared of this guy. I mean, I mean, like when they were little. Uh, I don't think I, I, maybe I was a little bit spooked. But no, I don't think I was very, you know, scared by him. He's just an odd looking fella. He's really nice. He might give off the vibe that he's a bad guy, but he is a nice man. But, uh, yeah, what I was saying is, you know, the console looks pretty good. They announced that they're going to have 15 exclusives within the first year of the console's release. That's pretty good. And, and th those are first party exclusives, if I remember right. 
and eight of those will be new titles. So that's pretty imp impressive, but um, kind of kills it for me that, you know, it doesn't play used games, so you're going to have to have your Xbox and your Xbox One next to each other. That kind of, I don't know, it's kind of a deal breaker in some way, but you know what, whatever. And uh, yeah, the fact that this is the biggest part that I don't like about the Xbox One is the used games deal. Uh, I think they said something like uh, you'll have to pay a fee just to play older games, or not older games, used games. And uh, you know, to play, you can play your games at a friend's house, but you'll have to sign in, and you can only have your console on a certain amount of—I mean, your account on a certain amount of consoles. So it kind of limits the amount of, you know, you can just go over to your friend's house and show them a cool new game. Uh, probably not. That might not work out for you. So that's kind of a bummer. Can I get this guy? Like, oh, it didn't work out. But yeah, with the PS4, you know, same thing. Looks cool, but uh, I'm not going to buy a system unless it has a killer exclusive. You know, I did get the Wii U. Uh, probably not the smartest decision to get it so early, but in the long run, I'm not going to regret it. I heard... What? I jumped up and I attacked. Bogus. I called bogus on that. But, um, I got the Wii U because I already know Nintendo has got the power. They got it. Nintendo power. But, um... Yeah, I'm kind of excited they're gonna release... I heard that they're doing a Nintendo Direct before E3. They'll be announcing, you know, the new Mario Kart, the new uh, 3D Mario game, and the new Super Smash Bros. And they already announced, like, a new Wii U exclusive Sonic open world game. Uh, hopefully it's not like Sonic 06, but, you know... I, I'm hopeful, I, know, I mean, I'm not a huge Sonic fan, I do like the Sonic games, but I'm not a diehard fan like a lot of people out there, but you know, I can respect that. Let's try not to goof up again, I don't know what that was, it's kind of lost in my words talking about that kind of stuff, and, you know, I just forgot about what was going on in the game, so forgive me on that. Let's go get that, uh, what's that down there? Why do they gotta make me go down here and risk my life for some dang at notes? Why are they hating? But yeah, I hope. Oh no. I hope I can keep the 100%ing each level thing going on. You know, because uh, it's cool. It's cool to do. I like to do it. But, you know. Stuff like Rusty Bucket Bay, I will literally have the worst time doing that unless I get really lucky. Because, uh, actually, wait, I forgot. The Xbox version keeps your note progress, so maybe it won't be that hard. Because the uh, N64 version, if you die, um, you lose all the notes that you, you know, retrieved. So maybe it won't be so bad on here. There we go. Is that our first one here? Keep on a moving, moving. Sure is taking a while. All right, let's go back up for some air. And I think I will go down and do the little chain thing. Almost. Can I... I'll, I'll do this real quick. And then I'll get the... Do the little chain thing down there. If I can make it. Oh, yeah. No, why am I getting goofed by these guys? They're not even hard. Okay, let's jump over yonder. But yeah, uh, I was just wondering what, uh, you know, what console you're most looking forward to or what uh, games. As I said, I'm looking forward to that Dark Souls, uh, Watch Dogs, GTA V, and The Last of Us. And pretty much whatever else, you know, Nintendo is going to show off. But other than that, I don't know. Uh, it's a pretty good year for games, I would have to say.
5 for consoles as well because, you know, uh, I think Xbox and PS4 are going to be released this year. So yeah. So yeah. I need to find this. Oh no. We got to get these uh, notes down here. I'll get that first. Oh, and there's a boy down here. Oh no. Oh no. Cut that. I'll be back at that area. We did it. I hope you guys aren't mad that I fast forwarded that. Because I had to be in the zone even though I didn't do that great. Just the way it is. So we gotta get up there before I die again. Clean grass, fresh air, baby. I didn't expect that to take so long. Let's get up there, and let's get inside this boy, or get the notes on top of him, at least. Come on, Shimona. Oh no, what am I doing? Alright, what is that, two? Yeah, this, this level's kind of slow compared to, you know, the last two levels because they're kind of pretty much straightforward and you don't need to do anything, really. And this one's kind of like, you gotta do things. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get some notes real quick so I don't forget about them later, even though I'll probably come back here even, whatever, just to get that, that boy up there, but whatever, we did it, I gotta swim back, so I got more than half of the notes though, so that's good, because those are the, usually the biggest hassle to get, well I keep saying that, and that's because on the, you know, like how I said on the N64 version, it's not as bad on this, Let's get inside this boy. Let's feel him up. I think there's something if you stay on top too, yeah. Okay, we did that. Do 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 do. Go on up, player. I'm ready to enter you. Alright. Um. Okay. These aren't too hard. But, um. There's ones later that go like Super Satan fast. Dang it, I thought I could make it in one roll. Or not a roll, but you know, just run through. Feel cool on the internet, but no. It's not gonna work out. 
Oh yeah, this place is a bummer. But there's no notes in the water, so that's not too bad. I didn't mean to do that. But whatever, let's proceed with that action. Yeah, I don't really like this. <laughs> Gotta do some mad, mad stuff. Go! Oh no. I don't know if I got this. Have hope, people. Have hope. We might have this. We did it, man. I, I know we got this. We got this. Hell yeah. Come on. Give it up for that. That's what's up. And with that, I think this will be the end of this episode. Thank you guys for staying tuned and, you know, watching me lose, you know, drown and stuff. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you guys later.